How's it going, Great. Nancy? It's going well. How you doing? Uh, it's a real pleasure. I've been a big fan since, you know, going back to So I Married an Axe Murder. Ah! So, sorry to bring that up. <laughs> no, I'm honored. Are you kidding? That has become this cult classic. I love it. That's, That's so great. So, Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited for Ride. Let's jump right in. Um, great. How did you get into character for Isabel McMurray? How did that come about for you? Well, uh, first of all, as soon as I heard about this uh, project, I was all over it. I was so excited to play Isabel and be immersed in this world. And uh, you ask about preparation. Uh, we, we were taken out to the ranch that we filmed on and just being immersed in this world brought me right into this character. And I had the pleasure of meeting and working with uh, an infamous trick writer named Jerry Deuce, who has won a number of awards. And she, to me, was the epitome of Isabel McMurray, uh, just a woman full of grit, grace, and uh, just gets it done. And sure. uh, talented, very, very talented in her own right. So uh, I just, I just did whatever she told me. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So uh, I guess yeah. for you, how was it like playing the matriarch of the whole family? I mean, you're like the boss. I'm the boss. Finally, finally, I'm the boss of somebody. Uh, <laughs> I, I it, God, what a pleasure. And first of all, I also just want to say uh, the the other actors that uh, I got to share this piece with. What a delight. I mean, we, it's such a collaborative um, group and we really did feel like a family. And uh, I just. Gosh, it was, it was just so great to play a woman who's got all of these aspects about her that are really uh f just so full i mean her cup was really full and um it, just a joy i love it so did you have any uh, like horse riding experience before or anything well, with rodeos prior no zero i mean look i've been i'd been on a horse uh <laughs> basically a horse that goes around in a circle uh, like a merry <laughs> but um no no real experience and uh we did have horseback riding lessons and cool. aside from the fact that i couldn't quite get my leg over the saddle and needed three people to push my <laughs> butt up in the air uh, once i was on i did pretty well so i i did and I have to say, I fell in love with horses, just fell in love. I mean, if, if we weren't filming, you could see me out in the field talking to, <laughs> literally talking to the horses, trying to let the foal, have the foal let me stroke him. And I mean, it was just sure. a great thing. Now, so the show takes place in Colorado. It's shot in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. You know, I guess tell us about shooting on this beautiful ranch. I mean, it's gorgeous. From the episodes I've seen. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And man, I mean, we uh, just, we would uh, travel an hour from downtown Calgary to get to the set and just watching the light come up on this ranch and see 4,000 head of cattle moving, moving around or being moved by the Wranglers. Uh, the house itself, exquisite, and the horses that were there. Uh, I mean, a dream come true, really a dream come true, right at the base of the Rockies with the mountains around us. I mean, just gorgeous. Sounds so beautiful. Sounds so beautiful. Very inspiring, to say the least. That's amazing. So for you, having worked in sitcom TV like Last Man Standing for so long, how was it like switching gears, you know, to this pretty intense drama? You know, not not as far a leap as you would imagine. I mean, I think uh, both shows are about family and about the issues that a family deals with. Um, I mean, this was a, a, a more expansive type of situation. Um, I, I don't know. It's the same sort of stakes. I mean, fighting for the ones you love, negotiating with the ones you love, and... Uh, getting over hurt and grief and sorrow and 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 also triumphs and celebrations and it's uh it's a story of a family oh it's beautiful love it and so overall i don't want any spoilers obviously but what can we expect from season one of ride if you had to sum it up in a couple words boy it's a whirlwind uh it's definitely a whirlwind it's season one of ride you get to meet this incredible family 
that I think uh, we'll all see a little bit of ourselves in and you we get to struggle with them and uh, share their victories and uh, and maybe uncover some of their secrets. Ooh. So, yeah. I dig that. That's cool. So the Hallmark Channel has been on fire with their shows recently, like The Way Home. I don't know if you're right. familiar with that one. Yes, very much what's so. It like, yeah. What's it like kind of joining that family? I mean, it seems like, you know, a real, a tight knit family. We are very, very excited. I, I mean, the the Hallmark uh, family on our side of things, on the production side, is just a a very um, supportive and collaborative um, and creative group, and they're willing to take risks. Certainly, with Ride is a is a different kind of show for them, and I have to say, the Hallmark family of viewers is also just such a loyal, um, passionate, passionate group of people that uh, we are very excited to bring this show to them. And, and I think they're going to eat it up. Yeah, it's like my, my mom has been texting me about this show. And she's like, Mike, this show is going to be good. She goes, you got to keep an eye out for it. So we have been we have like a texting chain for the way home on Sundays, right? And we discuss the show as it's happening. So I have a feeling we're going to do the exact same thing with this show. And I well, feel like listen to your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For once in your life, Mike, listen to your mom. <laughs> She's right. She knows. I know it. I love it. Uh, so, all right, cool. Well, listen, I appreciate you taking out the time. I won't keep you. you. I'm sure you have quite a bit of interviews today. So Thanks, it's my been pleasure. a real pleasure. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, thank Mike. You, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.